Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mikey's Monster. A giant creature was loose in the Krang's secret hideout. The Krang were blobby, brain-like invaders from another dimension. They lived in robot exoskeletons and spoke strangely. A team of Krang droids chased after the creature, firing their laser blasters. Blam! 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 A blast hit the creature. It fell to the floor. The Krang droids gathered around it. The monster looked like a giant alligator. It clutched a glowing object in one claw. Give to Krang the power cell that Krang demands that you give to Krang, said the head Krang droid. The creature jumped to its feet. With a mighty arm, it swatted the Krang droids aside. They tumbled to the ground, sparking and smoking. The brain-like Krang jumped from their broken robot bodies and slithered away. The creature punched a hole in a wall and escaped. Six months later, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello were watching the news in their secret underground lair. Michelangelo bounded into the room. Who wants to try my latest creation from the kitchen? He asked. We all love pizza. We all love milkshakes. So I combined them. I call it a pea shake. The other turtles groaned. Michelangelo took a big gulp and immediately spat it out. Where did I go wrong? He asked. On TV, a reporter began a story about the sewers. The turtles turned to watch. I'm Joan Grody with a sewer shocker, the reporter said. Were city workers attacked by a giant monster? The reporter said the sewers would be searched. That was bad news for the turtles and their secret lair. The last thing we want is some creature causing trouble in the sewers or news crews down here looking for him said Leonardo. We've got to track this guy down and stop him ourselves. There's a tunnel number in the news report, said Donatello. It's tunnel 281. Let's go, said Leonardo. The turtles quickly found the tunnel. The only sign of the strange creature was a few large footprints. What the heck made these footprints? asked Leonardo. Feet, said Michelangelo. Really big feet. Suddenly, the turtles heard brutal battle sounds echoing through the sewers. They charged down the tunnel to investigate. The turtles turned a corner and saw a giant mutant alligator battling a group of Krang droids. The alligator grabbed two Krang droids and smashed them together. With a powerful swipe of its tail, it sent another Krang droid flying into a wall. A pink Krang brain thing scurried out of the broken robot. Awesome, Raphael said. Wow, I never thought I'd feel sorry for the Krang, whispered Donatello. One Krang droid fired a massive blaster cannon at the raging creature. The blast hit the creature in the chest and dropped him to the ground. The Krang droid surrounded the injured mutant. Tell Krang in what place can be found the power cell, demanded a Krang droid. Never, screamed the creature. Then Krang will continue to inflict pain, said another Krang droid. We've got to help him, Michelangelo whispered. He was about to jump into action, but Leonardo grabbed him. Mikey, we don't know anything about that guy, said Leonardo. He could be more dangerous than the Krang. But Michelangelo couldn't stand by while the creature was being hurt. He sprang into battle. Crack! He knocked one Krang droid out with a blow from his nunchucks. A flying kick toppled another. Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello couldn't let their brother fight alone. Let's go whack some pinatas, Raphael grunted as the rest of the turtles charged into the fight. Donatello swung his bow staff. Leonardo's swords flashed like lightning. The Krang droids were quickly overwhelmed and ran away. What do we do with him? Michelangelo asked. We can't leave him here. The other turtles didn't want to bring the creature home with them, but Michelangelo talked them into it. Back at the lair, 
Donatello wanted to chain the creature, but Michelangelo said that would be wrong. The turtles began to argue. What's all the commotion? asked Splinter as he entered the room. Mikey brought home a dangerous monster just because it was hurt, said Raphael. There is no monster more dangerous than a lack of compassion, responded Splinter. The turtles told Splinter about the creature's fight and the power cell the Krang wanted. You made a wise decision, Michelangelo, said Splinter. The turtles were shocked to hear this. I can't believe I just said that either, he continued. He told Michelangelo to chain the creature for the time being. We need to learn what he knows about the Krang. Splinter sent Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael to look for the missing power cell. They returned to Tunnel 281. All they found was garbage. If I were an alligator, Donatello said, I'd hide something underwater. The three turtles dove into the grimy sewer water. Meanwhile, back in the lair, the giant alligator woke up. He strained against his chains. Set me free, he roared. Michelangelo calmly introduced himself. My brothers and I saved you from the Krang. We brought you home with us so you could get better. Michelangelo fed the creature his homemade pizza noodle soup. This is the best thing I have ever tasted, said the creature. All right, said Michelangelo. Somebody finally likes my cooking. The creature and Michelangelo became friends. Michelangelo undid the chains and gave the creature a name, Leatherhead. Deep in the sewers, Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello came out of the water and entered a room filled with dangerous booby traps. They had to act quickly to avoid getting hurt. They ducked under flying street signs and jumped over rolling manhole covers. The turtles made it safely into the next room and found the power cell behind a secret door. Any idea what the Krang would use this for? Asked Leonardo. Donatello inspected it. It could power anything. A flashlight, a blaster cannon, even a city on the moon. Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello brought the power cell back to the lair. They couldn't believe Michelangelo had unchained the giant alligator. What if he goes berserk? Leonardo asked. Don't worry, Michelangelo replied. Leatherhead is totally mellow. But when Leonardo mentioned the Krang, Leatherhead exploded with rage. Krang, he roared. When Leatherhead saw the power cell, he grew even angrier. Thief, he growled. He started to fight the turtles for the power cell. Stop, Splinter commanded. Get away from my sons. Leatherhead lunged for Splinter, but Splinter was too fast for him. The giant mutant stopped fighting, snatched the power cell, and ran away. Michelangelo chased Leatherhead until they reached an old subway car in an abandoned station. It was Leatherhead's home. Dude, Michelangelo said sternly. Friends don't beat up friends. I'm sorry, said Leatherhead. There are forces in me I can't always control. Leonardo, Raphael, and Donatello found Michelangelo just as Leatherhead was starting his story. The Krang found me as a young gator, he said. They took me to their dimension, mutated me, and tried to turn me into a living weapon. Leatherhead explained that he had stolen the cell that powered the Krang's portal to Earth and escaped. He wanted to stop other Krang from entering this dimension. Suddenly, a blast rocked the train car. It was the Krang droids. Give to Krang the power cell, a robot voice ordered. Donnie, can you get this subway car running? asked Leonardo. Donatello said he couldn't because there was no electricity. Leatherhead handed the power cell to Donatello. You have trusted me, said Leatherhead. Now I am trusting you. With that, he hopped out the train door to fight the Krang. Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Raphael fought off the Krang that smashed through the windows. 
Donatello tried to connect the power cell to the train's engine. I think I got it, he exclaimed. The last wire sparked as it touched the cell. The train blasted away from the Krang and Leatherhead. It shot through the tunnel going faster and faster. It banged and clanged along the twisting rails. Sparks flew from the wheels as Donatello tried to apply the brakes. The car finally screeched to a stop. The turtles were safe for now, but they were worried. They hoped Leatherhead was okay. They knew the Krang would come looking for their power cell. The battle with the Krang would continue another day.